So today was an adventure for me. Um, I actually spent the day going to Starbucks, got my free chai latte, which I was happy to get. It's too bad that you have to have a rewards to do that. You know, I wish they could do that with everybody on everybody's birthday. Um, everywhere should do that for everybody's birthday. It makes them feel, makes everybody feel special, I think. Um, yeah, so I did some running around. I got a new Halloween um, statue today. I'll have to show everybody that um, a little bit later. In fact, what I'll do is I'll link it to the, I'll link it right above. Um, he's really cool. I haven't found a name from, for, for him yet, but I'm sure that I will. Um, also got a new cup for myself today and it says leaves are falling, wine is calling, and you got it. Tonight is Pinot Grigio to celebrate my birthday. I'm not really a white wine person, but I do like Pinot and I like the dry, I like dry wines, um, red wines actually. So I hope everyone is doing well and everyone is enjoying this weather. How about those Northern Lights? Has anybody seen them? Um, I've seen pictures. I missed them. I know that we got a nice view for two nights and they say that you can still, it's still visible, but I have to run to the mountains to see that and I'm not gonna drive about 30 minutes to the mountains. <laughs> but they say it's still visible, but what I really wanna see is the comet going through. So, so I hope everyone is working hard on some of their projects or if they are just enjoying life, which I hope that you are, getting ready for the holiday Halloween season, which of course it is a holiday to some people. Um, Halloween, I love it. I love Halloween. I just got done crocheting some pumpkins and I'm going to show you that and I can link the video where I found the pattern on my site um, under the description so I'll send that. They were really easy to make. I made a bunch of them and I gave a bunch of them out and I made different sizes. Don't ask me what yarn I used. I think it was all leftover yarn. One of them was a Mary Maxim. The other one I think was in the kit that was given to me. But I just love these pumpkins. And let me go ahead and show you one. This one's a little bit deformed, but no pumpkin is, is alike, right? I used a little cinnamon stick for the, for the little topper. And all you do is crochet. I think this one was 25 going across. Yeah, it was, I chained 25. And then you're just gonna go ahead and crochet in the back loop to get that little marking there. I don't know if you can see it or not. And once you get up to, I think I did about, was it 40, 30, 30 rows. I did 30 rows. And then when I did that, I just binded them together, stuffed them, and just draw string the top and the bottom. So that's how I get, and I made this one here is really pretty too pumpkin. I'm not sure what yarn that was. That yarn there was given to me, so I'm not quite sure what that was. But this one is really hard to work with, this yarn. Um, I don't know. I only have like a little spool left, and I'm not quite sure what I'll use it for. But I don't think I'll be cro crocheting anytime soon again with this yarn. But yeah, I made a few different sizes. This one here is a medium, we have a large, and then I made these little tiny ones, which I thought were really cute too. That's cute. And then you can just use, you can decorate them any, any way you want. If you want to put a bow around the top or a bow around the, the cinnamon stick, you can. But I just thought that they were really cute. And just for, and these will last you all the way in through until um, Thanksgiving. So yeah, these are really nice to set out, not just for Halloween, but all fall. So those were really easy to make. I think I crocheted um, a set. I did three in a set. So I crocheted two sets in one night. And then 
I waited to go ahead and assemble them because it does take time to assemble, assemble them. Um, but I will go ahead and put the link of the YouTube that I watched where I got the pattern. There's a lot of them out there, um, but this one here I liked a lot. Also, I got myself an electric yarn winder. I haven't tried it yet. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of yarn um, that needs to be wound. So I think I'm going to spend some time um, to myself and do that. But the, the yarn winder would be this one. Um, we'll do a video on this one and see how it works. We'll go ahead and rate it. Uh, I got it off Amazon, and this is the name of it. So if anybody's looking for it, again, I'll link it in my descriptions. So I know my mom has one, and she was showing me how to use it the other day, and it really winds them pretty quickly. The tension on it, though, is not all that great. She had to put a tension with, um, she had to hold the tension down with something in order for it to, so it wouldn't be so, the yarn wouldn't be so loose when she was winding it. But it works really well. I mean, it makes huge yarn balls. So, you know, again, this is the one. I think it was only $30 is what I got. So again, that's what it looks like. That's what it is. And we'll do an unboxing on this in another video. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys, I'm really excited to use that. Um, and like I said, I'll link that in the description. Now, a lot of things I've been working on, um, let me just tell you the story about this Ohio State blanket. I know you're probably getting sick of hearing it by now, but trust me, I could not, I just was not satisfied with any of the, the patterns that I used. So I found this pattern and I was going to do it in one of the neons and then do the Ohio State um, emblem on it, on the, on the blanket, on the Afghan. But I did not do that. So I'm doing it in the Ohio State cover, or colors, which is the gray, the red, the white, and then of course the black. But I think I'm gonna border it in black. And I started it, I'm gonna show you when I'm starting here. And I like the stitch and basically it's just a shell stitch and it moves very easily and I'm really happy with it so I think what we're going to do is going to do the majority of that in this color very easy it just goes on and on and on and on and on it's so easy to do um, if, so if anybody knows how to do this a shell stitch you'll be able to do that and then I think what I'm going to do is just the majority of this is going to be this color then when I get to the middle of the pattern, I think what I'm going to do is do um, a little bit of white, a striping of white, and then do the maroon in the middle. And I think I'm going to border it in black. So it should turn out really, really nice. That's my thoughts in my head anyway. We'll see what it will look like when it's done. Um, I'm excited though. I've been, I just started this, I think the other day. And of course I put it down because I was working on a few other things. I had to get the pumpkins done. So, cause I'm giving them out this weekend, but I put it down for a little bit. So now I'm gonna just pick it up and then start crocheting it. And I'll let you guys know how far I get on it. But I'm using the Red Heart yarn. Um, no, actually this is Carry On, Carry On yarn. And um, I'll have to get you the colors later. I think, um, not sure what color gray this one is. I want to say it's a medium gray, but I'll get you the colors on that one, on this one. But yeah, this one's going, I'll be working on for quite some time. So we're going to do that and hopefully he'll have it before the end of the year. I'm hoping before the new year. So that is what I am working on. Now, if you notice behind me on the sofa, we have another beautiful afghan. Did I make that afghan? No, my mom made that afghan. And she used her Addy to make it. And let me pull it out here. It's all done in stripes. I love, I love red, black, gray. I love it all together. But what she did is she did it in, she did all of these she did them in strips, so on her Addy. So she did all of this in strips, all these colors she did in strips, and then she bound them together. 
But how pretty is this afghan? It is so pretty, it's so heavy, and it's so warm. But she does, she's been making afghans. Y'all, my mom is 83 years old, and she's just crocheting away like there's no tomorrow. She makes infant hats, and she gives them to an organization up where she's, up where her home is, and it's for um, babies. So she's makes make baby hats, and she gives them to this organization, and they go ahead and divvy out these hats. She also makes hats and scarves for adults, and she donates them also. Um, and then she's now making afghans, and they're so her work is so beautiful, and she's doing it with Yaddy. And I was pretty amazed because I know you can make some really neat stuff with them. And she's been doing some beautiful work with Yaddy. So I may have to get one of those one of these days. We'll have to see. But she's whipping them out like crazy. And she's loving every single minute of it. Now, I also, but how pretty is that? I just love that. And it's so nice and heavy. So, and I get cold quick. I never used to get cold, but sitting in this room sometime in, with the cooler months coming can be very, very drafty. So this is my favorite room to sit in when I do my crocheting, and I always need to bundle up when I do, especially come winter time. So I have a deck that's right out beside me, and I have a deck that, and a dog, and that likes to go in and out all the time, so we're constantly opening and closing <laughs> the sliding glass door. Doggy doors are out of the question. I live, there's a woods behind my house and a creek. There's too many wild critters. And I would not want to see one coming into my home. It's bad enough that I get mice every once in a while. But yeah, she, I, it works out. And I, like I said, I love this room. It's a great room. So let me show you what I'm working on and let me show you some of the things that I have finished. Um, I am working on Christmas trees. And I found with this one, I'm gonna make a few different colored ones, but I'm using the big twist and I'm using the twinkle yarn. This one's white. So this is the yarn that I'm working on. This yarn here, if anybody's familiar with the twinkle, um, it is a four weight, it's a medium. Um, and you get out of each skein, you get about, let me see, 380 yards. Um, it's 97% acrylic, 3% metallic fiber. So it's easy to work with, and I think it is machine washable. Yeah, it is. It's machine washable. Now with this, I'll have to show you, it says the best results for this is a size eight um, millimeter, um, like an H millimeter for um, crochet needles, and then for your knitting needles, it's a US eight, um, you know, to use whatever you're going to knit with, but I like this yarn and I'm going to show you what I what I use this yarn with, the big twist. I don't mind it. It's easy. It, it's a nice yarn to work with, um, but I made an afghan too and I'm going to show you that one. It's just a baby afghan and I'm going to show you that one. That's from a great niece and it turned out really pretty. I don't want to give that one away, but I have to. So, but it's going to my beautiful little great niece and she's worth it. So. But let me show you the Christmas tree here that I'm, I'm doing. And here is the yarn that I'm using. This is just one skein. And you can make it any size that you want. Again, I'm gonna link the YouTube channel to, to my description so you guys can see it, okay? Um, because it's very easy to make. And all it is is double crochet and it's just working in a circular motion. And you just make it the first part here and you just make it the size of a cone. I have a cone underneath and I think this is a, I'm not sure what size this one is. It's a nine inch, I think. Oh, it's a 3.7 inch by eight by 0.9. So yeah, this is, it's just a small one, but I didn't want to make anything real big. So what I'm going to do, and then the bottom part, after you get the, um, after you get the spiral going and you get it to the length that you want, you're going to go back around with the crocodile stitch, which isn't too bad. I mean, the crocodile stitch. Now, there is some openings I've been noticing as we get higher up, there probably won't be. 
but I think I'm going to throw either some blue because this white twinkle yarn has a tinge of blue in it. I don't know if you can see it or not. It might be too dark, but it has a tinge of blue to it. So I think I might put some blue twinkle yarn in there in the gaps. That's what I'm thinking of. And then to decorate it, once I get to the very top, to decorate the um, tree, I have some crystal pins and I also have some pearl pins. So I'm just going to stick them in wherever. And I think it will look really, really pretty. So I'm going to make a few of these to give them out as Christmas gifts. Why not? They move really quickly. In fact, the tree part with the double crochet on there, I think I used a five hook. Um, the five hook is what I think I used. But it's really easy. I mean, it, it only took me a few hours just to do this part. Now I'm, I'm working on the crocodile stitch all the way around, so that's taking a little bit longer. But I think it's going to look really, really pretty when it's done, especially when I put a little bit of that blue twinkle yarn in there. It's going to look stunning, I think. I also have pink, like it's like a hot pink twinkle yarn. I should put some, and maybe I'll make one with that. I think that would be pretty. I'm in a pink mood lately. So I think maybe I'll do that. This is the twinkle, the pink twinkle yarn I was telling you about. And this one here is the big twist twinkle. It's 380 yards right here. And of course it's a four weight. This one is called hot pink. Just look at it guys. How pretty is that? Wouldn't that be pretty for a Christmas tree? Now I'm gonna show you what blanket I use to make this with. It's so pretty. And I just have to finish the little blanket up for my niece. But I used another um, big twist and it was the ombre in Jazzy and it's a pink. And I'll show you that too. So I bordered it in this and it looks, it just looks, it looks really pretty. So let me show you this afghan, okay? May have to push my chair back here. There it is. This is the afghan. How gorgeous is that? I think it turned out really, really pretty. And you can see where the twinkle yarn's used, and you can also see where the ombre yarn is used. So really, really pretty. It turned out really nice. It's how I wanted it to turn out. And again, with this one here, it's all done in the round. It's not hard to do at all. It's all done in the round. And I got this link also. Um, I'll link that. I'll link the description to my page under descriptions also so you can see it. But it is so, so pretty. I'm so happy with this, this afghan. And I think that little Aubrey is going to just love it. It's so pretty. I hope that the camera is picking that up. But that is the afghan that I made for Aubrey. I'm really excited to give it to her. Um, her room, they said, is all pink and lavender. So that's going to go perfect with it. And I love working with that jazzy with the ombre yarn. Um, it works beautifully. So if, you know, I'm thinking that maybe this winter I might do a few scarves with it, I'm thinking. Um, and just hand them out as some um, Christmas gifts. So I have a lot of crocheting to do, but I have a lot of time to do it. So I was watching Sebastian, my little grandson, but I get him like one day a week now. So he's so sweet. He's now nine months. Can you believe it? Nine months now. He's like growing. <laughs> he's so growing. And he's, yeah, he's so cute. I just love him. Isn't it funny how we raise our children and then the grandchildren come along and we, we, we sometimes even raise them. <laughs> but you know what? I love every minute of it. So now I'm going to show you what I'm making for myself. And I had to copy. I saw everybody doing these cat afghans. And of course I had to make one for myself because I just think they're so adorable. Um, this is what I'm making for myself. It's just going to be a little throw and I'm going to put it up on, on the bed. And I don't know if you can see them, but I'm going to, of course, like I said, I'm in a pink mood. So we're doing pink 
These are all cats. I don't know if you can see them in there. Can you see them? And this is the lavender up here on the top, if you can see the lavender. And that is twinkle yarn also. And of course you have the pink kitty cats and the black, multicolored, the white, off-white. Yeah, I have a few different colors in there. So this is gonna turn out really, really pretty. Am I gonna border it? I don't know. I don't think I will. But I have three cats in this house and I figure I'm going to go ahead and dedicate my blanket to the three cats. Am I gonna, I don't know what I'll name them, but you know, my blanket, but I think it's just gonna be the kitty cat blanket. So I'm using the twinkle yarn in lavender. I don't know if you can see it or not, it's really pretty. Oh, it twinkles, but that's what I'm using. I'm using that. And then I'm using the twinkle white. Twinkle white also, got a big roll of that. Um, I'm also using, this one here is Red Heart. This is a four weight. And this is the Jumbo Super Saver. This one here I think is in soft white. So yeah, soft white. And I'm using that um, also for the cat. So this is soft white. And then for the, now I'm not sure, don't ask me. I'm not quite sure. This one yarn was given to me and this is a black twinkle. Not sure if you can see it, it's sort of thin. I would say this is probably like a, a two or a three weight. I'm not sure if you can see it on there, but it does have a little bit of shimmer to it. But I'm combining it with the gray. And this is a carry-on Simply Soft. So I'm combining those together. And what's what weight is this one? This one's gray heather, and it's a four weight also. You get five ounces in this one. So I'm mixing the two of these together, which gives it that this look here with the, with the cat there, the black and the gray. How pretty is that? So yeah, it's a multitude, it's a multitude of colors. I'm not done, I mean that one there, I put that aside so I can get everything else done. Um, that's what I did. I keep saying this, I wanna do tutorials and I'm looking forward to doing some tutorials However, sometimes I feel as if I'm not good enough to do tutorials, but I know I shouldn't feel that way, but I'm gonna start doing them. I actually found a, I actually got this off Etsy. I wanted to make some ghost, so I'm gonna make some cute glow-in-the-dark ghost. And um, I got some glow-in-the-dark yarn. I was like not impressed with the glow-in-the-dark yarn though. Let me show you. Let me go ahead and get this here. I got everything organized. Look, it's, I got, I started one, but I got it off Amazon instead of going into Joann's. I went to Joann's, they wanted $7.45 for this DIY glow in the dark yarn by Lime Brand. And I was like, no, I'm gonna check Amazon. Amazon had it cheaper. Um, I think it was like almost $5. It was like $2 cheaper actually. And you only get 1.75 ounces in this little tiny scheme. So, I mean, you can do, I guess you can do a few things with it, but I figure I'm gonna stay tiny and do little miniature ghosts. Um, when I get one done, I'll film it for you. I think they're cute. Um, yeah. I, and it's a four weight. It doesn't look like a four weight though, but it, I guess it is because it's so tiny. I guess it is. But I've seen a lot of people use this in a lot of different crafts and, and plus on their, their um, sweaters. So I see a lot of people doing hats with this. I see a lot of people doing um, adding sleeves to their sweaters with this. Um, so there's a lot that you can do with this glow. And now I see they have it in a lot of different colors. However, the color ones that I saw at Joann's, they had them in pinks and greens and that, those colors, um, they were like only 74 ounces for $6 and some odd cents. So 
You know, now if you have a coupon, that's fine. But I got mine off Amazon. You can find them on Amazon and they're just as good. I got, I think, four in a pack. So saves you some money um, if you have an Amazon account. But then I think I got them on, Am on Prime Day too. So I always wait till Prime Day also. Prime time to go ahead and, and shop too. So what's new? What's new with everybody? What's new with you? Um, let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to see some of the pro projects that you're working on. Um, just send me a, yeah, send me a few so we can talk about it. Um, I was thinking about some time going live too. I've never done that before. Uh, we might try it some night, see what happens. Um, nothing's new with me, just I had a really nice day. I usually take my birthday this day and I usually spend it on my own because I like to do that. Um, I visit everybody a few days before my birthday, but I always like to spend my day on my own. It's my time and I can do what I want and I don't have to worry about any, anything or anybody else. Um, I just relax that day. So I get up in the morning and I'll go and get my coffee wherever I want to get my coffee at. And then I'll just shop around. And I enjoyed it, actually. So I got a lot of, I, I usually hardly go on social media, but I did get a lot of birthday wishes, which was nice. Thank you, everybody out there for all the birthday wishes. It was really nice. Um, yeah, so I do that every year and it's, it, I'm, I'm ready then for the year then, for the rest of the year then, when it comes around. And today was a beautiful day. So I did a lot of shopping today. I actually went out, I'll show you what he looks like. I actually, I'm, we're going to turn this camera around so you can go ahead and see what, see this guy here. Now, if I'm going to warn you, he's flashing. So if you have any type of issues with flashing lights, don't look. But there he is. He's my little ghost. I got him today. I have been pricing this guy up and down for almost two years. And he finally dropped to the price that I wanted. So I have him on my dining room table. He's glass. He's not going outside. And he runs by batteries. And for some reason, he's not on a timer. So I have to flip them upside down and turn them on and off, you know, but he won't be on very often with me working and everything. But Halloween, I'll make sure he's on. That's it. I don't think I have anything. I'm looking around here. Oh, I did. I did get a new crochet set. Um, it's right here. How neat is that? And I got this. Don't ask me who the company's from. But I just thought it was so pretty and I'm going to set it. I have it set on my end table right next to me. So I haven't used them yet. Um, I just, you get them up to the size 12, I think it is. But yeah, look at them. Aren't they pretty? And they just sit right there in the, I think this one here, this hook here is a size, it's a 10 millimeter. And it's carved in, I don't know, can you see it? It's carved into the side there. You can see it. But I have them set right here on the side. I'm going to have to try to use them. They say it's good for arthritis hands, but we'll see. I also have got my new shirt with a little heart on. And I was thinking about making some of these shirts with hearts, um, since that's my signature. Um, that, and I have to get some things done, but I, I like the shirt. You know, I got it from Timu, and I was pretty sh surprised when it came. It fits great and it's nice and warm so that's where i got this shirt at and i got a few of them with the hearts on i'm glad that they i found them but anyway guys i think that's it for the day for this this time around um i promise you i know i've been saying this but life has been getting away from me lately i have a lot going on um but the holidays are coming up and I want to share some things that I'm doing. I started diamond art, diamond art, so I'm going to work with that, and I will show you the diamond art also. So, anyway, that is it for tonight, and if you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share it, 
and we'll talk a little bit later. And thank you for watching my channel and spending some time with me. And I will see you on the next one. See you soon.